Hey guys, it's Coding Jesus here, and today I wanted to share with you my number one book for beginners learning C++ that want to learn data structures and algorithms. Now, I've been receiving a lot of requests to do a video like this, and here's the video, okay? So I'm gonna be going into who the publisher of this book is, a little bit of background about them, what the book actually is, and what's in the book. So what you can expect if you go ahead and buy this book, okay? So the publisher of this book is Pact Publishing. Now I know you're probably thinking, Pact Publishing doesn't have very high quality books, but I think in every coal mine there is a diamond. And in Pact Publishing's coal mine, I think that this book is the diamond in the rough. I did buy a lot of different Pact Publishing books throughout the years, and I did find them inadequate. Uh, lots of spelling mistakes, some problems in their examples, but this book stands out in my mind as being the best book for C++ beginners to learn data structures and algorithms, and it so happens to be a book published by Pact. Okay, so what is this book? This book is simply called C++ Data Structures and Algorithms by I believe his name is Wisnu Agora, Agoro. I believe I'm pronouncing it right, I apologize if I'm not. But the book, once again, C++ Data Structures and Algorithms by Winsu Ogora, and it will be right here. Okay, so that's the book. Now, why should you read this book, right? You know what the book is now, but you want to know why you should read this book if you're a beginner. Well, this book really has three to four, four key sections that I think will be useful for you. The first is, it talks about asymptotic analysis. So it looks at the time complexity of different algorithms, and it teaches you what time and space complexity is. Right, this is key for anybody that wants to interview and land a job doing C++ or really any programming language to be frank, okay? That's what the book starts off with. The book then goes into the implementation of different data structures and algorithms. Anything from singly linked list, doubly linked list, to tries and graphs. So this book really is quite comprehensive when it comes to the implementation of different data structures and algorithms. Now, not only does it have the implementation of these data structures, it also goes through practical examples and shows you the output, the input, actual working code for these data structures. That's quite important as a beginner, learning what's actually going on under the hood, okay? The third thing that's great about this book and what it contains is that it contains the implementation of different search algorithms. Now, you're probably saying, Coding Jesus, nobody cares about implementing search algorithms. We all use the same search algorithm that's provided by the standard library or that's provided by whatever programming language you're using, whatever facilities that they include. That is correct. But as you begin learning algorithms, it's quite important to understand how search algorithms work under the hood, right? Anything from an exponential search algorithm to a binary search algorithm to a linear search algorithm to a bubble sort or a quick sort or a heap sort, this book contains it all. So it goes through each different type of sort in detail with pictures and working code. Okay. The last thing that this book has, which I think is great, is it teaches you the different strategies to approach algorithm, algorithmic problems with. And by that I mean it goes over things like greedy algorithms, right? It goes over the different types of techniques you might use or the different types of algorithms you might implement when you go about solving algorithmic problems. All right, so those are the four sections of the book. The book is around 300 pages long, and the book is available for, I believe, around $30 to $34 on Pack Publishing. What I did is I knew I'd finish this book in under a month, so I subscribed to Pack Publishing for $10 a month, which gives me unlimited access to all their books. I, would th I was then able to gain access to this C++ Data Structures and Algorithms book, finish it in under a month, and cancel my subscription. So instead of paying $30, I actually paid $10. Quite simple, I got the book for 66% uh, off, so for a third of the price. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up if you think I deserved it. Write the comment in the comment section below if you think this is a good recommendation. Subscribe and share this video with your friends. Share it with people that want to learn C++ data structures and algorithms and want to land a job after learning about the fundamentals of C++ data structures and algorithms, becoming stronger developers and stronger interview candidates in the process. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Once again, cheers.